Japonium, they are calling it. Scientists in Tokyo create a new element we can add to our periodic charts. Japonium is more deadly than plutonium. And the scary thing is that what they're trying to do with Japonium, they're trying to delay the half-lives of it. The half-life is only a few milliseconds. And they like Japonium because it can make more deadly bombs than plutonium. So these bombs will be much bigger, much more devastating. And the daughters of Japonium are pretty scary as well. Japanese scientists have been acknowledged as creating a highly toxic substance, potentially more radioactive than plutonium. Despite the country's horrific nuclear past and the synthetic element having no known uses outside of scientific research. Alarmingly, man-made ununtrium now recognized as the 113th element on the periodic table. As it's currently called, could potentially be used to make nuclear warheads more devastating than those produced with plutonium. If I were to put it to use, it's likely it could be only within the nuclear power or even weapon industry. Even respected scientists have raised the question why is it that synthetic heavy metals are being made. Anuntrium, like plutonium, gives off deadly alpha rays as it decays, which are much more harmful than gamma and beta radiation. Synthetic radioactive element 113. A team of Japanese scientists have met the criteria for naming a new element, the highly radioactive element 113. Now that we have conclusively demonstrated the existence of element 113, we plan to look at the uncharted territory of element 119 and beyond. A joint working group at the IUPAC and the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics also announced decisions on recognition of discoveries of element 115, 117, and 118. To scientists, this is of greater value than any Olympic gold medal, Ryoju Noyori. Former Riken president and Nobel laureate in chemistry told reporters, Riken had earlier said Japonium might be proposed as a name for element 113, which provisionally had been named Ununtrium. So it was a competition between Dubna and Russia, and you have the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California and Oak Ridge trying to make some of these elements. Element 113 sits between Copernicium and Floridium on the periodic table. Murata and his group used the Riken's linear accelerator and ion separator to search for the new synthetic super heavy elements. His team began working to create element 113 by bombarding a thin layer of bismuth with zinc ions traveling at about 10% speed of light, Riken said. Isotopes of element 113 have a very short half-life lasting for less than a thousandth of a second making its discovery very difficult after twice succeeding to create it. So they're fighting over the name. The Russians, they want to call it Moscovium. And the people in Oak Ridge want to call it Tennesseeum. We already have Californium. And now you're going to have Japonium. Something to remember them by. team reported that they bombarded Americum 243 with calcium 48 ions to produce four atoms of ununpentium. These atoms decayed by emissions of alpha particles to untrium in approximately 100 milliseconds. 
Due to the expected high fission barriers, any nucleus with this island of stability exclusively decays by alpha decay and perhaps some electron capture and beta decay, although the known isotopes of ununipentium do not actually have enough neutrons to be on the island of stability, they can be seen to approach the island as in general, the heavier isotopes are the longer lived ones. The isotope 291 UUP is especially interesting as it only has one neutron more than the heaviest known unpentium isotope. 290 UUP it could plausibly be synthesized as the daughter of ununceptium 295 which in turn could be made from the reaction. Calculations show that it may have a significant electron capture or positron emission decay. More in addition to alpha decaying it also has a relatively long half-life of several seconds. This would produce 291 Fi, 291 UUT and finally 291 CN which is copper nickium. 291 copper nickium which is expected to be in the middle of an island of stability and have a half-life of about 1200 years affording the most likely hope of reaching the middle of the island using current technology Possible drawbacks are the cross-section of the production of reaction of 295 UUS of super heavy nuclei. This close to the line of beta stability are largely unexplored.